Welcome to another installment of the Mastercam Studio at Prototech. This exclusive video series features the exceptional functionality found only within Mastercam, the number one most widely used cam software in the world. Here's the topic of today's video. Today we're going to take a look at the compare function inside of the verify option in Mastercam. Let's go ahead to my screen and take a look at what I have going on. So on my screen, I have this mold part that I have already programmed. So I put a bunch of uh, tool paths on there and I have some surface finishing tool paths on there that I wanna take a look at and make sure that I'm cutting true to my model. So how we do this is we go into our verify options in Mastercam. Now you'll find this option up here in our tool paths manager. And I already have this pulled up on my bottom of my screen. So this part that I programmed is already verified. Now at this point, this part looks great at this point for what I want in this project. Now one thing I don't know is if I'm actually cutting true to my model. So inside of Mastercam's Verify, in the Verify tab up on top, we are going to have an option called Compare. Now when we go to compare, it's going to open on the right hand side of my screen. If it does not open, down on the bottom you'll find it and it's called Compare. So up here, you're seeing a bunch of colors and uh, different values in there. And these are plus or minus values that are in here. A max on, on, the, on the dark blue and a minimum on the dark red. Now how we start to utilize this is we go to this first button. These are compare options. And what this is going to do is open a compare option tolerance box. Now this is where we set our plus or minuses in here for our tolerance. So right now I'm set to plus or minus 10 thou. And now maybe in this case, I'll be holding tolerance or maybe plus or minus five. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my value to plus or minus five, and I'm going to hit okay. As you can see on my right side of my screen, my tolerance have, tolerances have now uh, updated to be plus or minus five thousandths. Other options we have up here is we can show the model. So that'll show the model on my screen if I wanna see where my cut is compared to my model behind there. It'd be kind of like a secondary piece behind there. Um, we also have tolerancing here. So this box up here that currently has a zero, this would be like a plus or minus uh, stock that I would want the verify to look at on my part. So if I was leaving five thou on there, I could type it in there and verify would take that into account and when it's going to give me my picture. So right now I'm not, I have not been seeing anything on my part. And to run this compare function, it's simply this green refresh button. So if I click on there, it's going to start to compare on my screen. Now you're gonna see my part change colors. So in this case, I have light grays, I have dark blues, I have some yellows and I have some reds. Now what these colors are gonna correspond with are the colors in our compare option here, our plus or minus tolerances. Now what this is doing is taking Mastercam's cut data or center line of cut, and it's comparing it to the model to tell you before you get to your machine what you have for tolerances on your part if you were to cut that part in your machine. So in this case here, green is plus or minus five thousandths. That's, that's great for what I'm having here or want. But if I look into these radiuses, I'm seeing dark blues and some uh, lighter grays. What this means is that I'm leaving stock in there 10 to 20 thousandths or 20 thousandths to max potentially in some of these areas, which could create a problem down the road. And in this case, I know right off the bat that my radius of my tool is probably too big to cut this part to size. If I look around this part a little bit more, I look into these pockets. Now this pocket has reds and yellows and dark reds. Now that's telling me that I'm going negative stock. So what that essentially means is I'm undercutting my part, pretty much making a scrap part in this case if I didn't run this and catch this. So even though my tool path on the front end looks great, this is a great opportunity for, for me to detect a potential issue here in scrap. Other features on this uh, part are these walls here. It's great to look at this because this is actually an undercut that I didn't catch when I programmed it. And now I'm leaving stock there. So now I know that there's something going on there potentially that I should go fix before I run it back into the machine. Um, other options in here, uh, we can change the colors of these by hitting the drop downs. 
and it'll get you into a color palette here. So that is changeable if you don't like the default colors that come through with Mastercam. I certainly hope you can use this function going forward in Mastercam. Like I said, before we get to the machine level, there's been always many ways in Mastercam to detect a potential issue. And this is one of the ones that I use almost all the time because before I get to the machine, I wanna ensure that I'm not gonna make a piece of scrap out of that part by making a silly mistake like I do have on this part. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel as we're adding content constantly. And also, if you have any questions with Mastercam, definitely make sure you give us a call Monday through Friday, 7 to 5 p.m. And thank you as always for watching our videos.